Hi everyone, this is Sarika, your spiritual encourager, and welcome to another YouTube video. In this video, I would like to focus on spiritual growth. The Lord has placed on my heart for some time now to um, create this video talking about spiritual growth. Now, in this video, we'll be focusing on the fourth prior watch. And the fourth prior watch is from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And um, there are certain things that is happening to you or will happen to you that you will know that this watch is for you. Number one, you keep waking up at the same time every day. Or should I say every morning? This is in the before day. You keep waking up at the same time or around 3 a.m. So it will be like few minutes before or sometime before 3 a.m. Or sometime after 3 a.m. But you'll be waking around that time so you could keep the watch from 3 a.m. to 6 a.m. And there are a lot of things that this prior watch focuses on. But what the Lord placed on my heart to create the video around is spiritual growth. The Lord wants you to take this time to spend time in His Word, to study His Word, to journal your thoughts, to pray to Him, and just talk to Him. He is focusing on spiritual growth. And just to share a brief testimony about two years ago, before I even knew about the prayer watches of the Bible, um, two of my close friends and I, it was placed on our heart to get up this time and do Bible study together. And um, we would get up and we would text each other, hey, are you up? I am up, let's go. And we will do our individual study, but we would check in with each other to see if somebody's falling asleep, or if you'd have a song that you'd like to share or a prayer request, just check in with, uh, with, with each other as the Holy Spirit leads us to. And I know for myself, I grew so much in my knowledge and understanding of the Word of God. I become strengthened and I see God's Word manifesting in my life. I, I believed His Word more. I prayed more and the things I prayed for, they got answered. So this is the watch for spiritual growth. The Lord desires for you to grow. If you think you are spiritually mature, wait until you partake in this prayer watch you will see what being spiritually mature is all about so once again this watch is from 3 a.m to 6 a.m and the lord wants you to focus on spiritual growth so i would recommend get a, a journal or you could get a little notebook this is to do bible study so have your journal your highlighters your sticky notes your prior journal and your most important tool, your sword, which is the written word of God. And when you get up at this time, I invite the Holy Spirit in. Ask the Holy Spirit to place on your heart, what is it that the Lord desires for you to study? What is it, Holy Spirit, that the Lord desires for me to pray about? Ask for instructions pertaining to your day. Ask for the will of the Lord to be known. And is there anything bothering you? Is there anything that you would like clarity on that you would like the Lord to answer? Pray about this. Bring these cases before the Lord. The Lord says, if you abide in me and my word abide in you, ask whatever and it will be done. Ask whatever and it will be done. So ask for things that will bring God glory. And don't think that your to-do list will not bring God glory. Don't think that you asking for your daily bread will not bring God glory. As long as you are willing to share your testimony about what God did today or this week, you are bringing God glory. And another thing, bring a piece of paper with you. This paper is to write down your to-do list. Now, during this time, the wee hours between 3 and 6 while you're doing Bible study, you're going to realize that throughout these hours, certain things are, come to, are going to come to your mind. Oh, I need to go to the bank today, or I need to clean here, or I need to call so-and-so. Write them down. What the Lord is doing, He is preparing your activity for the day that will get done. Another thing. You don't necessarily have to spend all of these um, three hours in the Word of God. If you're led to, please do so. But at least spend one hour 
spend one hour with the Lord in prayer, in praise and worship, in studying the word, and use the remainder of that time to start your day. What you're gonna realize happening is that you're gonna have most of your tasks done before 6 a.m. You could go to the gym, you could pack your um, kids lunch if that if you're a mom you could prepare breakfast you could get those clothes washed whatever the Holy Spirit place on your heart you're going to realize that most of that is going to be done before 6 a.m. and what that is going to do is going to free up your day so you're going to have the daylight the rest of the day to do whatever so ask the Holy Spirit throughout the day Holy Spirit what is it that you would like me to do and another thing serve Try to come out of your home and serve. Go to your church, go to a school, go to a shelter. Find some way that you can serve. And a scripture coming to mind, it says, give and I'll give back to you. When you give God your time, when you give God your talent, he gives back to you. He grants the desires of your heart. So I want you to delight in the Lord by serving and he will give you the desires of your heart. So once again, this is a call to persons who desire to grow spiritually. You have that desire in you to grow spiritually. Um, this watch is for you between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m. This is for persons who you realize that you're waking up around that time, couple minutes before three or sometime after three or between the hours of three to 6 a.m. This is for you. Um, I just lost at that, but no, never mind. So pray about this. Um, okay, here it is. So preparation. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Preparation. Your aim is to get is to get eight hours of sleep. So calculate from three a.m. backwards to see what time you should go to bed, so you could get eight hours of sleep, and try to go to bed half an hour to an earlier before. <laughs> sorry half an hour to an hour earlier before that time so for example if you say you're going to bed nine o'clock try to prepare yourself eight because you know it's going to take some time for you to get ready for you to fall asleep so by eight o'clock prepare yourself mentally and physically for bed and then just lay to lay in bed you could read your bible before you could listen to some praise and worship you could just pray but prepare yourself an hour before because it's going to take some time for you to fall asleep. Um, if you have any questions, um, please leave them in the comment or you could send me an email at info, the word info at dttgw with sarika.com. Um, in the description, I will be including a link to an article about the prior watches of the night, but I want you to focus mainly on the um, one minute let me give you the on the fourth watch of the night so focus mainly on the fourth watch of the night the the, the things that it talks about you can do it it is it is i'm not saying no don't do it but the lord wants you to focus on spiritual growth how do you grow by studying the word of god by eating up the word of god so no worries if you want to do what it says but remember what god is calling you to do is spiritual growth I pray that this video was informative. I pray that it was a confirmation because I know a lot of persons, you're waking up around this time and you don't know why. The Lord is simply waking you up to pray. He's simply waking you up to have Bible study. This is the wee hour of the morning. This is the quietest time of the day. So if you are waking up around this time and you don't know why, this is why. If you have a desire for a spiritual growth, this is the time you use for your study. And remember, bring your cares and concern to the Lord in prayer. Most Holy Spirit, I thank you for placing on my heart what, it, what is it that the Lord desires for me to say. I thank you for preparing the hearts of persons watching this video, that they may have a knowing and an understanding of what I'm saying, that they may understand that those desires that they have to to learn more about your words or why they are waking up that they may receive clarity and confirmation prepare their hearts dear lord this is this is a season of, of planting the seed for it to be harvested so thank you holy spirit for what you're doing in our lives and i ask that you may transform us mold us into the image of christ give us a knowing of who we are 
as the redeemed and beloved of God. Thank you, dear Lord, for your goodness and your mercy, which is renewed every day. We love you, dear Lord. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. So until next time, this is Sarika, your spiritual encourager, saying remember to be obedient to the instructions and the calling that God has given you. Until next time, I love you.